This is Artifacts Mars, and one of the things the left is doing to try to confuse people is to bring up the SS St. Louis, a ship which visited the United States and Cuba on May 13, 1939. There are 900 Jews on board this, and what we're being told is that this is a similar situation to the Syrians, and we're making a big mistake by not letting them in, and the Syrians, you know, we need let the Syrians in because they don't want to repeat this mistake. It was really bad, and the Jews never should have been turned away. Well, this is, there's no comparison, however. So don't let left confuse you on this. They uh, were trying to escape Germany because they were being persecuted by the Nazis, as one of the amounts to. Now, no one at the time really knew how bad of a character uh, Hitler was. On 13 May 1939, more than 900 Jews fled Germany aboard a luxury cruise liner. That's us, St. Louis. They hoped to tr reach Cuba and then travel to the U.S., but were turned away in Havana and forced to return to Europe, where more than 250 were killed by the Nazis. See, we weren't at war with them at the time. We didn't know what Germany was. So there's much less reason. By comparison, the whole Middle East is basically in flames right now. And who's responsible? A group which many in our government support, ISIS. It's a European American army. It's not uh, basically all sand people or anything like that. Not even close. It's a European American army, ISIS is. Jewish properties have been confiscated, synagogues and businesses turned down, burned down. It's a totally different situation. Now, here in today's world, we got Christians that are being murdered by, you know, thousands by ISIS, and we're turning cold, blind eye to that, doing nothing about it. And yet we're bringing in the Muslims who I call a religion of pieces. You can bet, it's an absolute safe bet that some of them will be uh, members of ISIS. There's no question. So this ship came here and it was turned away, basically at gunpoint. We weren't at war with Germany. No one knew just how bad the Nazis were. But we turned it away anyway. There was much less reason for that than there is for turning away Syrians. Because we know that Islamic extremists are going to be in their ranks. That's not NIF. You bring in the Syrians, they're going to bring in a lot of terrorists. A lot of terrorists. Statistically, at least 10%, and that's being kind. So, just a heads up, if the liberal brings us up in an argument, tell them they're all wet, and tell them why. We... You know, those two situations are completely different. The Jews may have some reputations, rather prejudicial ones among people, but they don't go around setting off uh, bombs and blowing themselves up to kill others. They don't go around with AK-47s just mowing down innocent uh, civilians. It's a totally different situation. 
The St. Louis should have been allowed in port. I agree. I wouldn't want I wouldn't want the so-called Syrian refugees in this country, except on a one by one basis where they have been completely checked out and known to be harmless, and then I'm not even sure. This is Artifacts Mars. Don't fall for the uh, hype on this one. It's total nonsense. Thanks for watching.